Greetings and salutations. I'm Thaumaturge, or Ian if you will, and this is my first game development video for my upcoming video game, A Door to the Mists. What I want to show you today is a small test scenario. It doesn't share a setting or story with the main game, but what it shall ho should hopefully do is uh, show you the basics of some of the gameplay mechanics that I have in mind. So, to start with, let's have some action. This fellow here is quite as quiescent as he seems. If we step into this blue circle, combat will be initiated. As long as we're outside of it, we're safe. Well, presumably we don't fall off a ledge or something like that, of course. So, let's get into a fight. Combat is inspired by the old Quest for Glory games, a favorite series of mine. Simply put, you move the mouse in the direction that in which you want to block. You can use the keys to dodge left, right and back. And you can attack by pressing the left mouse button when the mouse is in one of the three defensive regions. And as you can see our opponent is blocking all of my attacks at the moment. And indeed, uh, oh ouch, indeed um, the enemies will learn as well as the fight goes on. If you continue to use the same tactic over and over again, they will start to respond to it. So, for example, I'm going to catch him that way. Whoops, I'm being too slow. Let's try that again. If I catch him that way, you see he's uh, gotten the hang of it, but he didn't see that attack from the left coming, or this from the front. Now, this enemy is fairly straightforward. Um, he simply has the three st um, same three attacks that I have, and the same three defenses. Other enemies might have special abilities or unblockable attacks, um, or attacks that stun you, stun you. And uh, finally, I'd like to point out the stamina bars beneath the health meters. Uh, simply put, all actions take a certain amount of stamina, although that's negligible in the case of blocking. If your stamina runs low, your movements are slowed down, uh, which makes you more vulnerable. And that's combat, basically. If I can just finish off this guy, come on. Oh, there we go. Yeah. Thought I had him for a moment there. He's wise to most of my tactics. I've let him hang around, or I've let him grow accustomed to my abilities, to my attacks, my techniques. I was hoping to slip in an attack there. So what we're going to have to do is try to... Oh, no, got an attack through. As you can see, damage is healed more or less immediately at the end of combat. The idea being that each combat is a challenge in and of itself, barring perhaps um, a tutorial enemy. Um, there's no, in, well, there's no uh, challenge by attrition, as in uh, certain, as in many other games. Now, moving along, another important feature of the door to the mists is what I like to call traversal challenges. Um, in the case of this uh, this particular level, it's going to be very simple. But the basic idea is trying to figure out how to get from point A to point B. In this case, we want to get into this tower. The door, as we can see, is blocked up by rubble. So we're not getting in that way. There is a hole in the wall here, and we can jump, but we can't jump that high. Now, A Door to the Mists has a feature inspired by the old Thief games, which I like to call Universal Mounting, and what they called Mantling. Simply put, um, as long as, and excluding any bugs or oversights on my part, if there's sufficient space and the uh, surface is within reach and we're holding down the jump button, we should be able to <coughs> catch on and automatically Ow. climb up. And Ow. we're in. Ow. As you can see, we take... Um, well, that's a sort of pseudo-falling damage. It's more a warning that if you fall far, far enough, or more accurately, um, you accelerate suddenly enough, such as coming to a sudden stop after a long fall, um, you could end up dead. 
Uh, so we come up into this tower. We're going to overlook these papers for the moment. We see there's a bit of broken ledge up there. Um, this is another example of a simple traversal challenge. We can climb up onto these bookshelves and fence onto the broken ledge where we find a small collectible. Um, now, I want to be careful about getting off of here. Fine. Ooh, and I died. I will be right back. Right, and we're back in the tower. I'm afraid the while there is an autosave feature, it's currently buggy, so I just quickly ran through the, the short level again. Uh, the final feature that I want to address is puzzles. Um, aside from puzzles seated in the environment, buttons to press and so on, a door to the mist will also have um, what you might call interface pu based puzzles, where you have uh, an, a pop-up interface or a mini-game that you have to complete. Uh, so there might be lock picking or um, yeah, what, or uh, interpretation puzzles. This one is intended to be uh, an inverted commas translation puzzle. As we can see we have um, a bunch of unfamiliar runes and boxes beneath them in which we can enter letters. Now I happen of course to know the solution to this particular puzzle, um, so I'm going to speed things up and get us through to the end. Right, as you can see solving that unlocks a bit of, uh, a bit of plot, um, and from here we would, um, if we were continuing on with this scenario, uh, move on to further levels. That uh, particular puzzle is honestly uh, a bit on the unbalanced side. Oh, and please excuse the horrible skybox. Um, uh, oh yes, I should also mention that uh, the uh, art style that you're seeing here is not intended to be the art style of the final game. Um, it's very much prototypical. Right, and uh, that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, please leave a like or a comment. And if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Uh, if you'd like to know more about the game itself, you can visit uh, the site thaumaturgeart.com. That's thaumaturge-art.com. Uh, there should be a link in the description um, where you should find uh, my development blog and an entry for the game and media and so on. Thank you very much. Stay well and goodbye.